Welcome to Vedial Vagaparai. In this video, we are going to discuss a JE Advanced 2022 problem, uh, which is based on reactions in organic chemistry. Let us see the question now. So the question is, the number of isomeric tetraenes that can be formed from the following reaction sequence. So here we are given a, di sorry, a double bond and a triple bond and then three reaction sequence and uh, we are asked to find an answer uh, from the product. So let us see the first reaction. So the first reaction is reaction of uh, sodium with ammonia. So when you talk about uh, reaction of sodium with ammonia, it's a very uh, specific, stereospecific reaction in the sense mm, this reaction is very uh, characteristic of an alkyne and not an alkene. So only an alkyne will be reduced to an alkene. So it has no effect on alkene system. So uh, this uh, reagent is used specifically to add hydrogens across the triple bond. And uh, very beautifully, the alkene that is formed is a transalkene. The addition happens uh, anti to each other and then the product is a transalkene. So this is something which we must always remember. So when sodium and ammonia is added to, oh, sorry, is, uh, is the reagent, the reduction reactions of alkynes results in the formation of um, alkenes that are trans uh, to e, trans. Okay, so next what we are going to see is about the second reaction that is reaction with bromine. This is a simple reaction now that and the alkyne also has become an alkene. Now you have two uh, double bonds in the system and now these two double bonds when bromine is uh, reacted here excess bromine is given. So because excess bromine is given the bromine addition happens across the double bonds. This is a classical reaction of saturation unsaturation test that you do in your practicals. And so all the double bonded carbon atoms will be uh, added with bromine atoms. So this is what we see in the product. So you get a tetrabromoalkane uh, as the product. So the next uh, reaction is a reaction with alcoholic KOH. When you talk about reaction with alcoholic KOH, we all know that it results in the elimination products because uh, alcoholic KOH favors elimination. So, uh, and it is a beta elimination. So, when you talk about beta elimination, uh, all the um, hydrogen atoms which are on the neighboring carbon atoms attached to the carbon bearing the halogen uh, can be removed. So, I am just pointing out the hydrogen atoms that could be removed uh, in the dehydrohalogenation process. So, hydrogen and halogen will be removed and a double bond will be formed. And that is how we see four double bonds are formed. So, this is how we get a tetraene okay so this is the product that is formed so now let us uh, see the overall reaction so the overall reaction is uh, two consecutive additions followed by uh, one elimination reaction to form a tetraene so from an alkene and an alkyne system we get a tetraene but the question is how many number of isomeric tetraenes can be formed so we know this is one tetraene, but when you observe the tetraene, we see uh, the two double bonds that are there in the cyclic system is fixed in position. So they are actually cis to each other. Yes, cis to each other because they are dienes. Uh, so we um, they cannot uh, change positions. Whereas uh, when you talk about the uh, other two double bonded system, uh, they are uh, having a you know uh, trans. Um, kind of a system here but then I'm not going to look at the dienes I am more worried about the uh, double bonded system whether it is cis or trans because it is cis or trans uh, we will see here this particular carbon is cannot show cis trans isomerism because both the groups are hydrogen atoms so the fourth diene cannot show any kind of isomerism uh, that is geometrical isomerism is not possible for the fourth but then now when we see the this particular uh, system, you see the protons are all opposite to each other. So this is a trans kind of a geometry. So uh, that is what we see. So this trans is what I have represented it in a better way so that you people can understand the trans structure better. So this is the only place where there is going to be a change in the geometry. Whereas at this place, there is no cis trans isomerism. And in these two places, the geometries are so fixed, they are not going to change. 
So ne next molecule, it will be the molecule wherein you have the two hydrogen atoms cis to each other. That is all. So only these two structures are possible. So the uh, the uh, the answer to this particular question is the number of uh, isomeric tetraenes that can be formed from the following reaction sequences, the cis and trans due to the uh, uh, double bonded system that that is there in here. Okay. Whereas not the others. So the number is two. So the answer is two. Thank you.